Welcome back to OV Kids. We are back for another week of all things slimy and sticky. Why? Because we're talking about getting unstuck. We can accomplish great things when we don't give up. When we have determination. Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Determination can be tricky because so often in life, we find ourselves in sticky situations. In fact, we're in the middle of a sticky situation right now. But I know how we can make it through. Sometimes we face sticky situations and sometimes we might even be scared to face what's in front of us. But God gives us everything we need to keep us going, including courage. You know what? Let's stand up and sing this song and thank him for making us brave. I will not fear I know the storms will come I know I'm not alone You are my strength so I will say You make me brave You give me courage I won't be afraid I won't even worry Cause you've got the whole world in your hands You fight for me You help me stand you It's a great song. The prophet Isaiah shared some words from God that remind us how big he is. Listen to this. My thoughts are not like your thoughts, and your ways are not like my ways, announces the Lord. The heavens are higher than the earth, and my ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. And that's found in Isaiah 55, 8 through 9. We can be brave and keep following God because we can trust him no matter what. All right, well, before we jump into small groups, let's see what the so-and-so show is all about today.
Oh yeah, hello everyone, my name's John. And I'm Brandon. This is the, uh... Hey buddy, you okay? So-and-so show! This is the so-and-so show, that's what it is. What is going on with you? I, I haven't been able to sleep lately. I'm just exhausted. I'm sorry to hear that, why aren't, why aren't you sleeping well? I've been doing this thing to make a little extra money where I teach English to kids in other countries on the internet. Oh, don't you have to know other languages to do that? No, no, it's called language immersion. So I'm just supposed to talk to them in English and after a while they just pick it up. Oh, well that's really great, but... Yeah, it's really, uh... Huh, it's really great. Yeah. <sighs> he still didn't explain why he wasn't sleeping. Uh, it's because I have to get up at three in the morning to teach English to kids in China because that's when it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon over there. Huh. Then I take a two hour nap before I have to wake up to talk to some kids in Italy. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Time zones, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, another thing. <laughs> John. John! Hey, bud. It's time to... Ah, I'm sorry! He's really out. Soccer isn't a real sport. Who dares? Great, you're up. Uh, we, we really need to start the show. Oh, oh, okay. It's time for someone who knows stuff. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry, we're not used to having two guests on at the same time. Uh, is one of you supposed to be here next week? No, I'm pretty sure we're at the right week. Uh, uh, there are two people here, right? I, or am I just sleep deprived? No, you're fine. Uh, okay, uh, tell us uh, who you are and what you know. My name is Mariah Miller and I am an engineer for Velcro. I, I am sorry, I am so tired. Which one of you is Mariah? I'm Mariah. Oh. And I'm Cheryl, Mariah's assistant and sign language interpreter. You'll hear my voice, but really it's Mariah doing the talking. She's the brains of this operation. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, wait, so you're, you're sign, this is sign language right now that you're doing? Oh. Do, you, do you mind if I ask, how long has she been... Um, you can talk to oh, her. Oh, sorry. How long have you been uh, hearing impaired? I was born deaf, and I can't remember a time when I didn't know sign language. Obviously, I can speak a little bit, but having Cheryl in my life has made it so much easier. Aw, thank you. <laughs> so, 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 wait, you've... You've, ne you've never been able to hear. It, it, that must be hard. It's hard. But I'm not gonna lie. Having, in here, having a hearing impairment doesn't make me any less capable than any other person. I go through the hard stuff like everyone else. Hmm. Plus, I try to look for the good in everything. Oh, oh how do you mean? Well, I'm not able to hear now, but I know this amazing, beautiful language, sign language, mm -hmm. and I'm able to focus and keep out input from other people. <laughs> if someone wants to talk to me, I don't really want to talk to them, and they can't get my attention. Uh, even if they're yelling, I just don't have to look at them. Oh. I'm teasing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right, we really ought to talk about uh, Velcro. No, no, no. Uh, can you teach me some sign language? This is how we say thank you. Oh, thank you. Cool. This is how we say I love you. I love you. Uh, yeah. I can't. 
got it. So little I for I. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. L got it. for ah, love. Y for you. Yeah. I love you. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, seriously, we're running out of time. Is there anything about Velcro you can tell us really quick? Velcro was modeled from a burr from a plant that the inventor found that was stuck on his pant legs after a walk with his dog. Wow. Hmm. It was also used in the first heart surgery to keep the heart together. Now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have Velcro inside an astronaut's helmet in case they want to scratch their nose. No kidding. You oh. want to try it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to try. Yep, that feels good. <laughs> it works. It works. It's true. Ooh. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> lovely. Hey, thank you so much for coming on the show, uh, uh, Mariah, and you too, Cheryl. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Yes. Uh, um, is, is there, uh, how do you clap? Is there a sign? Yeah. Oh, 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 like that, like that. Okay, okay. Nice. How do you say bye? Uh, oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Can't believe it. I didn't you know, know that. You know sign language. One. I know. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> now I'm going to take a nap. Oh, man, we have to. <sighs> uh, no! Uh, oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay, hold on. What are you doing? I, 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 it's time for me to teach a kid who's calling in from Moldova. Just, it, just act like I'm not here. Just keep going. Just act like I'm not here. So same as usual. Hello, my name, I, I'm your teacher. My name is John. J. Yeah. Uh, what is your name? While he's doing that. Shh, it's shush. Oh, hi, Maxim. Uh, what is the weather like where you are here? It is sunny. It's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs>
I am speaking French. And I am speaking fluent Italiano. Oh, and yet we understand each other. <laughs> Potpourri, au duv encore. Bertoli, prego, ragu. <laughs> yeah. So, when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, all those gathered began to speak in languages they hadn't known before, not in bad French and Italian accents. Fair dinkum. Nah, I'm speaking Australian. <laughs> Throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> Boomerangs. Anyway, in Jerusalem that day, People from a bunch of other countries had gathered for an annual festival. And when they had heard the Jesus followers speaking their own language, they were amazed. Wow, that guy's speaking Australian, even though he's not from Australia. Cheerio! And I do believe I heard a Galilean speaking British at tea time. Spit spot. Oh boy. Again. The followers of Jesus were speaking languages they hadn't known before, and to be clear, none of them were speaking English. The point is that all the people visiting Jerusalem from other countries understood what the Jesus followers were saying. So they understood when one of the followers, Peter, stepped forward. <gasps> what an entrance. I got chills. Let me explain something to you. Jesus was nailed to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. <gasps> Rapa. How wonderful. <laughs> Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yes. What, what should, should we, we do? do? Mm. Turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. <gasps> then you'll be forgiven and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. <gasps> Are you in? Does an emu fly? <laughs> Does it? I don't know. <clears throat> We're in, mate. That day, 3,000 people from different countries and different languages became followers of Jesus. And they would take the story of Jesus back to their own homes and tell the story in their own language. So people from one end of the earth to the other would hear the good news. Isn't that amazing? Totally. Really amazing. And speaking of amazing, let's give a big round of applause for the So-and-So Show players. Okay, wow, that, the Holy Spirit helped those Jesus followers do the impossible. I wish I had that. You do. Really? Yeah. Anyone who puts their faith in Jesus has the Holy Spirit. Then why can't I speak Australian? First, you can. And second, Having the Holy Spirit doesn't mean you have the power to do whatever you want, whenever you want, but the Holy Spirit can help you keep going when things seem too hard for you alone. That's great. Good on you, Kelly. Uh -huh. Hey, I can speak Australian. Blah, blah, blah. We'll see you next time, Kellen. <laughs> Thanks for the story. You bet. Bye, guys. Bye, Maxim. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, right, 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 right. Good job today, Maxim. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow for your next lesson. Okay, bye. Hi. Are you done for the day? Yeah, just only 18 more classes to go. Oh, John, I, listen, I think that this new teaching job is a great idea, but you might be overdoing it, don't you think? Are you kidding me? I'm good. The Holy Spirit can just get me through it. I know, but the Holy Spirit can also help you to be wise. You gotta have sleep, bud. John. John! Reveal the question! The question of the day is, what helps you keep going? Mm, sometimes coffee. Sometimes running in place. Oh, what helps you keep going? Not just when you're tired, when things are hard, or when things are boring, maybe. What's something you can do or something you can think about to help you keep going? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Are you okay? I need a vacation. Okay. Today we're gonna go over simple objects. Simple objects. Paper. This is a piece of paper. This is a C-clamp device for mobile phones and other electronic devices. Can you say that? C-clamp device 
Can you say outdated audiovisual tech? This is a heavy chair. These are rocket boosters for a shuttle program discontinued by NASA. You'll use that one a lot. You'll use that one a lot. It's right up there with where's the bathroom? God created a perfect world, but then people messed it up. When sin entered the world, our relationship with God was broken. But God knew we needed a savior. That's why he sent Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and he was raised to life. But before God brought Jesus to heaven to be with him, he sent his spirit to his disciples. He knew that they would need help telling the world about Jesus. When you believe and put your faith in Jesus, you receive the gift of the Spirit too. And God's Spirit gives us what we need. Which brings us to our bottom line for this week. God gives you what you need to keep going. Why don't you guys say that with me on the count of three. One, two, three. God gives you what you need to keep going. Whatever task God has given you to do, you should do your very best. You should always give it your all. But in the end, you can rest in knowing that you don't have to do it alone. If you believe in Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit to help you. You've probably seen the Holy Spirit at work and you didn't even know it. Maybe you've seen someone go through a really hard time. Like maybe they got really sick or they didn't have a job for a long time. Many times when you ask people like that how they made it through, they'll tell you that they couldn't have done it without God's help. That's what the Holy Spirit can do. All right, are you guys ready to head to small group? Let's get going so we can talk more about that. Hey guys, it's Emily, and I am so excited to see you here again today. So our first activity is called Community Helpers, and it seems perfect, especially right now. And we are going to turn Community Helpers into a game of memory. You guys know how to play memory, right? Yeah, it's super simple. Go into the church website and print out our Community Helpers um, memory game, cut them out, and then grab someone to play with you. You guys are gonna lay them all out in a grid and then whoever's turn it is, they go and pick two cards. If they match, awesome, they get to keep them and then they get to go again. If they don't match, then you have to put them back in the exact same spot and it's the next person's turn. Have fun. Oh, you got it? Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> there were a lot of helpers in this game. People who can help you stay healthy, learn math, or bake a cake. But when it comes to determination, we need a much bigger helper to encourage us to keep going. And that's why I am so thankful that God sent the Holy Spirit to be the ultimate helper for people. Our next activity is called Sacred Art. For this activity, go ahead and print the Sacred Art page on cardstock from our church website and gather a few different colors of Play-Doh, or you can make your own. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to fill in the art by pressing and smearing the Play-Doh across the page. And it actually won't come off when it dries, which is pretty cool. Super easy, just do it like this. And that's it. Turned out pretty well. And this looks like the tongues of fire during the Pentecost. And this was such an important moment in the life of church. There are thousands of beautiful pictures like these to remind us of that time. Jesus had given his friends a big job to do, and he sent exactly the right helper to give them the strength to do it. The Holy Spirit lives inside of people who follow Jesus and helps them to do what's right. God did that so many years ago, yet he still does that today. The Holy Spirit is with you always when you follow Jesus. Whether it's strength to finish a big job or wisdom to know the right path, you can trust that God gives you what you need to keep going. All right, so let's review the memory verse that we started last week. It is found in, do you guys remember? Galatians 6, 9. So let me turn to it. Okay, 
So Galatians 6 9 says, let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6 9. I love that verse. I want you guys to go ahead and say it with me. Ready? Go. Let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6 9. Awesome. Now I want you guys to go find a piece of tissue paper in your house. You can grab white tissue paper. If you have red and orange, grab those. If not, don't worry about it. You can just color a few sheets of white paper. And I want you guys to write that memory verse on a piece of tissue paper like this. Then we are going to twist it up like flames. Our verse encourages us to show determination, and that's exactly why God sent his Holy Spirit to the first disciples, to help them keep going and tell everyone about Jesus. Just like God cared for them and made sure they were ready for their mission, God gives you what you need to keep going. The Holy Spirit will give you wisdom to know what's right, and he gives you strength to not give up. The Holy Spirit helps you know when you've made a wrong choice and encourages you to keep following Jesus no matter what. Hey, Drew. Will you come pray with us? Sure. If you already made your flame, I want you to hold it while we pray. When you look at these flames, I want you to remember that God gives you what you need to keep going. Let's pray. Dear God, we just thank you so much for today, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for sending us Jesus to be our Savior, Lord. And also, Father, for sending your Holy Spirit, God. Um, we just thank you, Father, that the Holy Spirit is our ultimate helper, Lord, um, when we have things that we need help with, Lord, and, and we struggle, and when we go through things, Lord, we know that you and, and the Holy Spirit are there to help us, Father, through it. And we just pray for today. We just ask that you would give us all a great day, Father. Uh, keep us safe and protected. And Lord, we just love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bye. See you guys soon. Bye, guys. Hey, OV Kids. It's Catherine. And Chad. <laughs> and we just wanted to say hi. We hope you guys are doing well. We miss you. We miss coming together and seeing everybody and playing fun games and doing praise and worship. Um, but we just wanted to tell you that we are thinking of you. We can hardly wait to see you and um, see you at Oak Valley. Yep, we miss you guys, Oak Valley kids. Uh, we're gonna all be back together shortly and we look forward to that time that we can uh, have fun at church and enjoy each other's company. Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.